All right, we're going to construct a truth table for a compound statement with a conjunction and a disjunction and determine its truth value. That is a lot of words. So just to refresh, a conjunction means and, and disjunction means or. So let's jump in. Uh, construct a truth table for the compound statement. I want to purchase a vehicle that is not an SUV and it has to be silver. Okay, now I am going to escape. We're going to have to do this in the small version because I need to be able to draw. So let's uh, go ahead and just shrink this down a little bit and make the view a little better. Um, let's put it. I love technology. All right, so we're going to construct a truth table for this. Construct a truth table. So the statement is, I want to purchase a vehicle that is not an SUV and it has to be silver. So this is first just a conjunction. Um, so to think about what this means, uh, when it says, I want a, not an SUV. So for P, P is going to be the fact that we are buying an SUV. That means not P would be not an SUV. Okay? And Q would be that we are buying ourselves a silver vehicle. All right? So kind of keep that in mind as we're going through. So what we need, we're doing our truth table for not SUV and silver. Okay, so let's jump into that. First, let's start with P. Now, because we have two things, right? P and Q, two to the second power, because there's two of them, means we're going to have four lines. So when I start with my first, we give it uh, true, true, false, false. Now, our second one is going to be Q, and we know that... Q gets the opposite, so true, false, true, false, so that we can get our pieces. Now, this would be great. If we just wanted P and Q, we'd be ready to roll. However, recall that we want not P because we want not an SUV. So if I know that P is true, true, false, false, then not P is just the negation of that, so false, false, true, true. So I'm just kind of getting my truth table all set up here. So now as we dig in, remember that our goal is to create the truth table that represents not an SUV and silver. So we are looking at not P and Q. So recall, if it's and, the only time we're going to have a true statement is if both items are true. So here we have false true, that gives us false. False false is false. True true is true and true false is false. So we have completed the truth table uh, for the not an SUV and silver piece. All right, now let's kind of expand this. We kind of started off with an easy one. So now we're gonna construct a truth table for the statement. I like my coffee with creamer and sugar or from the shop down the street. So now we have the and, we have the conjunction but we also see or with the disjunction. So now we have three pieces. We have creamer, we'll call that P. We have uh, sugar, right? So we'll call that Q. And then we also have the shop down the street, which we will call R. So we are looking for coffee and creamer or the shop down the street. So this is where we're going to. This is our goal in our truth table. So let's go ahead and do all of the pieces that go with this. Now you'll notice we have three variables. So two to the third power means we're going to have eight lines in our truth table. So I have P, Q, and R, and I have eight lines. So when I start with P, you're going to again think about the first four are going to be all true, 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 and then we're going to have four Falses. Okay, so for Q, that's an ugly looking F. For Q, we're going to cut that in half. So we're going to do two trues, then two falses, then two trues, then two falses. For R, we're going to alternate true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. So the beginning, when you're just getting these all lined up, there's a pretty common piece to that. Now recall that our goal is P and Q or R. That is our ultimate goal. So think about the steps to get there. R we already have done, but we don't have that first piece, which is P and Q. 
So that's where I'm going to start. So again, remember, if we're looking for and, P and Q, the only time that's going to be true is if both pieces are true. So as I look down my list of P and Q, I have true, true. So that one's true. True, true. That one's true. True, false. True, false. False, true. False, true. False, false. False, false. So the, excuse me, the first two are true. The rest of them are all false. Now I'm moving into my last line. P and Q. So now we're looking at this one here. Or R. Now remember, we're, now we're dealing with the OR piece. For OR to be true, I just need one or both to be true. So as I'm looking at R, P and Q, those two lines in my truth table, I just need one of them to be true. So true, true gives me a true. False, true, true. True, false, true. False, false. Ooh, there's a false. True, false. False, false. True, false. False, false. And there we go. So P and Q or R is a true, 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 false, true, false, true, false. And that's our truth table.